Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last... 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our phone number on the bright side, and we welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business or our truth treatment products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, you want clarification on 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. And we love hearing from you at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase the longevity products right off our website. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business. Earn thank you checks associated with having your own business. If you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, you can work out of your home, work as little or as much as you want, make as little money or as much money as you want, Ten, uh, $10 a month, $100 a month, $1,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month. Some folks are making that much money by helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program using the longevity products. If nutritional supplementation has helped you in your life, pay it forward. Help some other folks. Make some money at the same time. It's a win-win. You make money, you work out of your home, you help other folks, help people change their lives at the most fundamental level, which is the level of biology, the level of health. Nothing else matters, folks, if you don't have your health. And you can't have your health without getting on a good nutritional supplement program. It's so easy to do. If you sign up for, uh, get on a monthly auto ship, sign up for the Healthy Start Pack, you'll get your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients drop shipped to your door every month. If you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, we'd love to have you as a member of the team for a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470 for more info. 1-866-735-2470 for more information. And also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with wrinkles or fine lines or age spots or you want to prevent them, retinol is your go-to active ingredient. Our Truth Retinol 5% Gel is not only made with retinol 5%, it's also made with a big old dose of fat-soluble vitamin C. In fact, all our Truth Treatment products are loaded with vitamin C. Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Thanks for listening. We're talking about... Um, well, I'm talking about a, a very interesting biological <laughs> biological uh, uh, law, I guess. It's a, actually a fundamental biological law, and that's the idea of hormesis, correctly applied pressure 
that has biological benefits. It's called hormesis. It is uh, technically the body's positive responses to low levels of stress, to low levels of poisons. This is so important. And as I say, it's an absolutely fundamental law in biology. Low levels of stress elicit positive responses. In the entire sphere of biology, plants, bacteria, cells, tissues, organs, anything that's biological is going to benefit from low levels of stress. This is so, so important. Because we get this, we have this idea in our culture that stress is somehow a bad thing. You got to avoid stress. You got to stay away from stress. We got too much stress, blah, 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 blah. Not true. The idea that stresses that don't kill us make us stronger can actually be applied to everything that's biological. It can be applied to your heart. It can be applied to your skeletal system. It can be applied to your organs, to your liver, to your, uh, to your bones, to your skin, as we've said. It can be applied to plants, which require stress to produce antioxidants and vitamins. This is one of the problems with too much fertilizers and too much um, uh, pesticides. Pesticides and fertilizers deprive plants of hormetic benefits. Using pesticides and using fertilizers depletes or deprives plants of, of this idea of, this, uh, of the benefits that can be induced by stresses. So the plants that have been subjected to pesticides and to fertilizers don't make as much nutrients. They don't need to make as much nutrients. They don't need to make the antioxidants. They don't need to make the flavonoids. And so the plants that we're eating today that are pounded with pesticides and, and fertilizers are weak plants. Even if you're a vegetarian, you're now ingesting plants that have been deprived of, uh, of the ability to take advantage of stresses, the ability to take advantage of hormesis. They're weakened plants. This idea of hormesis can even be applied to civilizations and cultures. This is what the famous historian Arnold Toynbee hypothesized in his uh, time of trouble theory that stated that there is a causal relation, there's a connection, a causal connection between times of stress and significant breakthroughs in the development of a civilization. If you read the paper these days, and get on the internet and read the news, it seems like our civilization, our culture is going through amazing amounts of stresses. Well, guess what? If we can handle it, Remember, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. If we don't get killed, if we don't get destroyed by the stresses that our civilization is going through, we're going to be better off for it based on this idea of hormesis, civilization hormesis. So you can see hormesis takes place everywhere, everywhere where there's life, from cellular life to bacterial life to biological life to civilizations and cultures. Of course, the best known example of hormesis that we all take advantage of or we should be taking advantage of is exercise, which literally damages tissue. Exercise is damage-inducing stress. Stress that puts a damage, a, a slight amount of damage onto the tissue, onto the muscles, and onto the bones, onto the connective tissue that results in miracle of miracles, better, stronger bones, better, stronger muscles, better, stronger connective tissue. This is why we all should be exercising. There's no drugs that can do this, folks. There is no drugs that can induce this kind of hormetic benefit that, that simple exercise can do. Now, hormesis technically is the idea that biological systems respond positively to exposure to chemicals and toxins and radiation. However, hormesis theory or hormetic theory can be expanded to include stresses that we get in the gym, stresses that we get from weightlifting, stresses that we get from doing curls and doing push-ups and doing pull-ups. Exercise as, as a part of hormesis theorizes that free radical production, the production of free radical, induces the production of antioxidants, induces the production of DNA repair enzymes, and induces the production of more proteins. And by the way, this effect is especially important for the elderly. And everybody who's aging should be doing some kind of hormesis-induced, uh, uh, growth-inducing hormesis. That is exercise. Everybody who's interested in anti-aging, it is the essence of anti-aging, hormesis. It's the essence of longevity. There is nothing more important for longevity than hormesis. Well, there's nothing more important. Certainly nutrition is as important, but there's nothing more important than hormesis for anti-aging and for longevity. And by the way, hormesis and nutrition go hand in hand. The best time to do your nutrition is after you've had some kind of hormetic stimulus. That is, after some kind of exercise. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back with more good health information and your phone calls, 844-236-6010, right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright 
side. And pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. If you have questions about uh, anything we're speaking about here today, hormesis, exercise, we're going to be talking about hormesis and the skin here in a little bit. If you have questions about our truth treatment products or the longevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. Our truth treatment products are available at truthtreatments.com as well. And we also have various uh, miscellaneous health products, health products that I like that I can't find, that are difficult to find that I think are, are valuable at brightsidehealth.com. Various enzyme products and uh, also our CBD products are up at brightsidehealth.com. Rumor has it, by the way, Longevity is going to be coming out with some CBD products. I'm going to be coming out with some CBD topical products here pretty soon. CBD cannabidiol is a, a um, uh, active ingredient that's found in the cannabinoid plant, the marijuana plant, as well as other plants. And it's becoming more and more recognized as a powerful anti-inflammatory, anti-anxiety, sleep aid, pain relief aid, lots of literature on anti-cancer. Drug companies are researching CBD for its uh, medicinal properties. And I, as I say, I'm going to have some CBD products out of it, out hopefully sometime this year. And uh, I have heard, I don't know this for a fact, but I've heard rumors uh, that uh, Longevity may have some CBD products out as well. Anyway, we've got a really neat CBD tincture up at brightsidehealth.com as well as some coconut products, coconut protein products, and also digestive enzymes at brightsidehealth.com. So we're talking hormesis, the idea that small amounts of stress can be beneficial, have beneficial effects. This was a theory that was first elucidated or first, uh, first discovered or first um, talked about, I guess, first written about when it came to radiation. But it can be applied to lots of different things, especially to exercise. Reading from uh, the journal EMBO, EMBO journal, mildly stressing muscle metabolism boosts levels of a beneficial hormone that prevents obesity and diabetes, according to a new study by researchers at the University of Iowa. It turns out that a special hormone that stimulates, the, uh, stimulates something called fibroblast growth factor can be induced by stressing muscles. Well, this is something we all know about. We call it exercise. Hormesis is just a scientific, fancy-schmancy term for talking about exercise, and it's the reason why we all want to be exercising. It doesn't take a lot of, you don't have to do a lot of stress. In fact, too much stress is counterproductive. Hormesis is about a sweet spot between too little and too much. You've got to have just a little stress. There's a sweet spot of muscle stress that has metabolic benefit. There's a sweet spot of skin stress that has collagen benefits. There's a sweet spot of emotional stress that has emotional benefits. There's a sweet spot of stress in civilizations and cultures that has benefits for civilizations and cultures. By the way, this is all part of a physics theory, a, a physics idea called systems theory that says systems become better and more evolved when they, have to, when they absorb a certain amount of stress. The reason I think this is so important is because we have this backwards idea that we have to avoid stress in our lives. No, you don't want to avoid stress in your life. You know, if you don't stress your muscles, they atrophy. Have you ever been in a cast for, uh, for six or eight weeks after you broke your leg or broke your arm? You take the cast off, what do you, if, if you, you'd be horrified. You are horrified. I was horrified. I was in a cast for six weeks when I broke my leg. They took the cast off, and I had no more muscle in my leg. My leg, uh, the skin was just flabby and swinging after, six after just six weeks of, of laying off of it. Stress is important, but it has to be a sweet spot of stress. And this is true about all biological systems, and it's especially true, at least from a beauty perspective, about the skin. Correct stimulation, that is a sweet spot of stimulation in bursts. The stimulation has to happen in bursts, it has to happen at just the right amount, and it has to happen in conjunction with nutrition. As I said before we went to a break, before we went to our break, there is a relationship between nutrition and nourishment and the body's ability to respond correctly to stresses. And that's why you always want to do your nutritional supplements after you come home from the gym. It's the best time to do your nutritional supplements. You always want to load the body up with nutrition and with nourishment after it's been mildly stressed, and that's where you get the hormetic benefits. And it's true about the skin as well. Correct stimulation, sweet spot stimulation, hormetic stimulation, which should occur in bursts, 
with nutrition on the skin can help prevent or even reverse the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It can help thicken the skin. It can help strengthen the skin. And if we understand this idea of exercise, if we understand the concept of exercise and then combine it with an understanding of how the skin grows, we can learn to exercise our skin. We can take our skin to the gym. And if you're not exercising your skin, you're not taking your skin to the gym, you are missing one of the major strategies for keeping your skin young and youthful and healthy. One of the all-time best ways to stimulate the skin or to exercise the skin, I call it exercising the skin, is with low pH, with acid substances. Now, you don't want to be too acidic. Remember, it's a sweet spot. You don't want to be too acidic. Too, too much acid can cause severe stimulation to the point of damaging the tissue, and that's what you don't want. You want to tickle the skin. You want to, you want to just ever so slightly stimulate the skin cells. When the cells are tickled, not hurt, but tickled, that's hormesis. Think of it like a kind of tickling. When you put acid on top of the skin, I'll tell you what kind of acid you want to use here in a minute. When you put just a slight amount of acid on the skin, you tickle your skin cells. You tickle your skin cells so they release chemicals, specifically chemicals that we talked about last week called cytokines. Cytokines means cell movers. Kine means to move, cyto means cell. Cytokines are chemicals that induce the movement of other cells. Cytokines are signals that announce, hey, we need some help. We need some support here. We need some growth. We've got a little bit of stress going on. So you tickle your cells with acid on the surface. The cells release cytokines. The cytokines announce, hey, we need some support. And guess what happens? You get more cells. And you get more fibers. And you get more moisture factors. And you get bigger, better, stronger, more resilient skin by tickling it with a little bit of acid. Now, too much stress. I have to emphasize this. We have this idea sometimes that if a little is good, too much is better. No, it's a sweet spot. Too much stress can kill cells, but in just the right amount, you tickle the cells, they release the cytokines without killing anything, and now you got something. Now you've got a mechanism for growing tissue. So by using something acidic but not too acidic, you, you tickle the cells, you sort of pump out the cytokines, you pu uh, pump out the cytokines out of the skin cells without causing any damage, and hitting this sweet spot of acidity is only, can only be accomplished with an acid that is acidic but not too acidic because you want to stimulate but not to, uh, not overstimulate and fortunately as it turns out there are literally substances inside the skin there are substances that are native to the skin there are substances that are inherent in the skin that actually have this property there are remember the skin has an acid pH the skin we talked about pH last week how the inside of the body has to be alkaline but the outside of the body has to be acidic everybody's probably heard of this idea of alkalinizing the inside of the body uh, a guy named Robert Young wrote a book called the pH miracle and he talks all about it and there's books called alkalinize and die and there's mainstream uh, mainstream stuff on the internet about how you want to eat an alkaline diet blah 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 most of it is baloney okay you don't eat an alkaline, you don't keep your body alkaline by eating an alkaline diet, although it is important to have minerals that are in an alkaline diet. You keep the inside of the body alkaline by breathing, by oxygenation, and blowing off carbon dioxide. Alkalinizing has an energy sucking effect. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. Water is the same. Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and benfuchsarchive.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. We also have a, a uh, archives at brightsideben.com, search engines on both websites, and you can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. Our number today, 844-236-6010, and we've got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a little bit. want to... Read a couple interesting stories here. This is from MSNBC. McDonald's slims down Happy Meals by banishing cheeseburgers 
and chocolate milk. So your kids can no longer get their Happy Meals with cheeseburgers and chocolate milk. Hmm, interesting. They can still order their cheeseburgers and chocolate milk. It's just not going to come in the Happy Meal. Listen, there ain't nothing good about McDonald's, period. End of story. There's not one single morsel of food that you get at McDonald's that will do your body that will have more health benefits than it will have uh, than will ha- the negative health benefit or the negative benefits. You may get a little protein from your chocolate milk or from your burgers, but the crapola that you get in the buns and the ketchup and the meat and the French fries and everything else, that place is a hazard to health. McDonald's, Burger King's no better, and all the other places where we get our food from. Oh, where am I going to eat my food? You know what? We eat way too much food. Skip your food. The way our food is constructed, the way our food is, is produced, the way our food is procured, the way we get our food, we're better off not eating food. Or at least not eating as much food. We eat way too much food. We eat way more calories than we need to ingest. And by the way, calories are not necessarily nutrition. Calories can cost us nutrition. We have this idea that we need to eat calories to get nutriated. Uh-uh. The calories and the micronutrients are supposed to go together. That's what's called a whole food, when the calories and the micronutrients go together. Vitamins and minerals don't have calories. Vitamins and minerals help the body utilize the calories. When you get calories without vitamin minerals, a la McDonald's or any other fast food, that's calories without minerals and vitamins, that's where we run into health issues and you're better off not getting the calories. And by the way, speaking of hormesis, which we've been talking about, fasting is one of the all-time great ways to leverage hormesis. The idea that a little bit of stress induces growth-inducing substances in the body is exemplified by the calorie restriction diet or by fasting, the ketogenic diet too. That's how the ketogenic diet works, actually. That's how the fasting diet works, or that's how intermittent fasting, I should say, works via hormesis. From the Journal of Bone and Mineral Research, calcium and vitamin D supplements are not associated with risk of heart attacks. New research from the University of Southampton has found no association between the use of calcium or vitamin D supplementation and cardiovascular events such as heart attacks. This is really important because somehow or another, medical professionals and some lay people have gotten the idea that when you take calcium, it can somehow cause problems with your cardiovascular system. Now, I'm not saying here that there's no relationship between calcium and calcium deposits and heart attacks. It's just not related necessarily to supplements. Elevated blood calcium is a metabolic issue, not a supplement issue. It's a chemistry issue. It's a sign that your cells are dying. It's a sign that cells are exploding and releasing their calcium. It's a sign that the cell membrane isn't functional enough to to suck up calcium into cells. It's a chemistry problem, a biology problem, not a supplement problem. If you have calcium deposits, probably you're dealing with dirty blood. Because everything that goes wrong in the body has behind it dirty blood. Blood becomes dirty from the wrong kind of food, especially sugar, and from digestive toxicity and from too much stress. Not hormetic stress, but too much stress. So if you're dealing with uh, calcium deposits in the kidneys or in the heart, and your doctor says, well, you should avoid calcium supplements, he doesn't know what he's talking about. If you're dealing with calcium deposits, you've got to start taking care of your blood. You got to st- start taking care of your sugar, your blood sugar. You got to start patching up your gut. You got to start getting healthier cells, which always goes back to the triangle of disease. And finally, drugs that treat psoriasis also reduce aortic vascular inflammation. Now they want to give you these biologic drugs, the UMABs. If you ever hear a drug, uh, if you hear of a drug called a UMAB, like I can't even pronounce this thing. Astec Inumab, also known as Stellara. These are drugs you see advertised all the time. They call them biologics. Biologics work by destroying cytokines, those inflammatory signals, inflammatory signaling chemicals that we talked about in our last program. The pharmacomedical model loves destroying things. That's basically all they can do. All a drug can do is destroy things. There's no drug on planet Earth that can help a cell. That's all you need to know about the stupidity of the pharmacomedical model for health. This utter intellectual biochemical ignorance of the pharmacomedical model for health is exemplified by this idea that you can shut down a cell and make your, and be better off for it. Can you reduce your symptoms? Yes, obviously. Can you reduce your pain? Yes, sometimes you can reduce your pain, but that doesn't mean you're gonna be better off for it. So now they wanna use drugs that treat psoriasis to reduce aortic vascular inflammation. I have an idea. Why don't we figure out what's causing the vascular inflammation? 
and reduce that and eliminate that. What's, what is it that causes the aortic vascular inflammation? That is the inflammation in the blood vessels, food, sugar, bad living, nutritional deficiencies. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to Kevin and say good morning. What is up, Kevin? How you doing, buddy? Hi there. Uh, hey, listen, Pharmacist Ben, I just wanted to thank you first. Uh, you've opened up my eyes. On, on Now I'm on this health kick, and I'm taking nice. control of my health, and, and nice. I appreciate that. So, How do you feel? But, so, uh, How do you feel? How do you feel, Kevin? How do you feel, Kevin? Kevin, Kevin, how do you feel? I feel great. Awesome. Were you on medication before? I was, and that's one of the things I want to talk to you about. I was on a stat, okay. um, uh, a torvastatin. Um, in October, my doctor doubled it because he wanted my, you know, cholesterol way down in the in the tank, and and uh, and my my toes started going numb. Okay. So, surprise! Cool. Surprise! I I quit the statins. I'm done with that. Um, wait, wait a minute. Now, did, what happened? What did you did you tell your doctor that your toes were going numb when you were on the statin? Did yeah, you, did you, I did. And, and what did he say? And and he said, oh well, you know, well, maybe it's this. Let's go take you to a neurologist. Went to okay, a neurologist great. More that. doctors. Okay, right, great. exactly. <laughs> so so the neurologist said, yeah, you need to get off the statin. So I did. Okay. Um, and you feel better? And so now, what's that? You feel better? Yeah, I, I, I do. Um, do you still have, do you, are they a, numb? Are, are your toes still numb? Well, intermittently, I didn't think it would go away right away. They're still kind of intermittent. Um, so, I yeah, I guess that's one of the things I'd like, you know. Okay, that's not a good sign. That. Numbing in the extremities right. is definitely not a good sign. What's your height to weight? Um, I'm 247 now, down 25 pounds. And How I'm tall? 5'11". Oh, okay. 5'11". Now you're not a you're not a linebacker, I take it, or a running back for no, the Eagles not, or anything. It, it, right. Uh, all right. So so then that means that's telling me your blood sugar is off. Very very normal. Very unfortunately normal. How how old are you? Did you did you say? Uh, Forty two. Forty two. Yeah, way 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 too young for this. That's called neuropathy, uh, right. and it's very very common, and it is related absolutely to blood sugar problems. And at two five eight two forty seven, you said five eight, right? Uh, 5'11". 5'11", I'm sorry. 5'11", 247, you definitely got some blood sugar stuff going on. So hang on. We'll tell you what to do when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. Talking to Kevin in Pennsylvania. Hey, Kev. Okay, so uh, 5'11", uh, 247, did you say? Right. That's your big guy there, Kevin. Uh, and you're yeah, only 40. I'm dropping. Okay, good. You lost, how much did you say you lost? Uh, 25 pounds. Okay, Keto good deal. Diet. Uh, and, awesome. Uh, Why did they put yeah. you on the statin, just for curiosity's sake? Did you have any well, issues with okay, your heart? So cholesterol. Uh, That's the only there. reason. They put it on you yeah, preventatively. Yeah, cholesterol level. Okay. Yeah. All right. So your cholesterol is off because your blood sugar is off. And I know that, well, cholesterol and blood sugar elevations go hand in hand, but also your weight is telling me that too. Uh, anytime you're starting to gain weight where you never gained weight before, or you're getting a belly where you didn't have a belly before, this accounts for almost every human being on the planet past the age right. of 30 or 40, you're dealing with blood sugar problems. Uh, it's, it's the most obvious clarion call of insulin resistance that there is, is a belly or a gut when you never had one before, and I have it too, and everybody has it. It's just part of how we how our lives go. Uh, plus elevated cholesterol, all of those are announcing as clearly as as you could possibly imagine if you understand biochemistry that your insulin is off. You're becoming resistant to insulin, and it's secondary to too much sugar. Now, sugar comes in many forms. It doesn't have to be apple pies and candy bars and and soda pop. It could be just pasta and bread and potatoes and rice and anything that breaks down. Down into sugar. The ketogenic sure. diet is ideal for you. In fact, you're probably already doing everything you need to be doing if you've lost 25 pounds. That's a, that's a real good indicator that you're becoming more sensitized to insulin. So just keep it, stay on it, keep it up. Oh, Secondly, you okay, want to start sounds, to, with a couple, let me give you a couple more, a couple more things real yeah. quick, Kevin. Uh, get on some nutrients that help your body process sugar, especially niacin. If you're not already using niacin, uh, the ultimate niacin. Niacin is part of the glucose tolerance factor which is a, a complex of molecules in the body that helps your body process glucose. Uh, so I'd be using uh, the ultimate niacin on, on a once-a-day basis, ultimate selenium, okay. and also sulfur. 
uh, MSM sulfur. Uh, both sulfur and selenium are involved in the production of insulin. That can help. Uh, also, alpha lipoic acid, one of my all-time favorite non-essential nutritional supplements, maybe two, 300 milligrams a day. Make sure you're using enough magnesium. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. And don't forget about your sweeties, which is chromium and vanadium. If you've got any digestive health issues, you want to patch up the gut as well. But for now, I'd be, I would be focusing on all, everything you could do to help stabilize your blood sugar. Watch your cholesterol drop like a stone along with your weight and along with your blood pressure if you've got blood pressure problems there. All right, Kev? Gotcha. Thank you. All right, man. Good to talk to you. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Let's go to Maryland and say good morning to Natalie. What's Hi. up, Natalie? Hi, Ben. It's Hello. Me again. <laughs> you again? Which Natalie are we talking to here? Oh, yeah. Um, I was on your show on Friday, and so I... Um, okay. Yeah. I'm talking about acne, and um, so let me just uh, quickly just say... Um, some of the benefits in which I, I uh, got from taking um, Accutane is like my hair wasn't as um, loose as it was before. Um, my knees and elbows, there was like I noticed that I had little dot like bumps there, and I noticed that when, once I had Accutane, which I haven't completed yet, but um, once I've taken Accutane, those things went away. Interesting. Um, and uh, and I used to have. Uh, I don't know if it, they were freckles, but I had some on on, the, on my hand, um, and those things kind of came out. They kind of look like psoriasis, so I decided to um, do your skin exercise routine, in which you've mentioned in all your videos, and I've watched everything. I've been following you for like five years, so I know. Oh, everything. really? Okay. All right. Yeah, cool. Absolutely. So, what did you do for and skin did, exercise? Um. So I would uh, I would use um, an exfoliant. Um, I I use your glycolic. Um, acid cream for uh, face wash, um, just something acidic, you know, because uh, you mentioned that the skin is very acidic. So um, I do that. I do a toner, and then I do um, nice. a, like a vitamin, like vitamin C or vitamin E, because then Topi I do vitamin E because, yeah. Topical. Topically. Okay. Yeah, topical. How old are you, Natalie? I'm 29. Okay, good. All right, so how can I help you? Um, so I just want to, like, know... Um, what I guess what what would be the best bet for for me? I mean my my skin is is uh, you know I still have acne and um, I you know just spots here and there and I'm recently getting like cysts on my cheek area and, and you're still on I, Accutane? No, I stopped taking it because I started getting like psychological issues where I was really depressed and I just uh -huh. I couldn't handle it. it was just like so emotionally. Um, Training and I'm, you know, finishing up my master's degree. So like doing all that stuff. What's your master's? Way too much. What's your master's? Um, in technology. What specifically? What does that mean, technology? Um, uh, informatics. Um, oh, nice. In technology. So awesome. Um, That's awesome. Where do you go to school? Um, I'm doing online right now. Very cool. Well, that's, you sound like a smart young lady. That's awesome. So let me give you some ideas here, okay? Um, the, cysts, the, the fact that you have cysts on your cheek area tells me that you've got some unresolved digestive health issues. You've got to have some gut problems. Must, must, must. If you don't know they're there, do. you yeah, have to. Okay, yes, I do. That's the root and of I everything. Do, like, probiotics and everything. Yeah, well, when but I there's... Started, go ahead. When I first started your show, when I first started listening to your show about five years ago, um, I did probiotics, I I did kefir, I did all those drinks, and I lost all my body, my body, um, my body fat, I think the BMA, or I don't know what they call it, um, and I was, I was very slim, and it worked, your program worked, um, and now, you know, just like going back into the lifestyle of, of going into the workforce and all that stuff, it's really hard That's to keep up. Well, yeah, I'll give you, let me give you some, some easy tips because I, I totally know what you're saying. I travel a lot myself, and you know it's, it's hard to eat correctly, and sometimes I forget to supplement. Let me give you a couple easy tips, okay? First of all, you absolutely, positively, 100% got to get to the bottom of that digestive stuff because not only is the acne you know, cosmetically un, 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 unappealing, you know, you don't, it's not attractive cosmetically, but it's going to shorten your life, and it's going to lead you to very unpleasant health challenges down the road. If you don't uh, figure out what's getting into your lymphatic system and what's getting into your blood that's causing these cysts. Cysts along the cheek, or at, on the cheek, I should say, 
need to be regarded as a lymphatic condition. Your lymph is your body's da uh, a sewage system. It also delivers vitamins. So in addition to being cl uh, clogged up and causing cysts, it's also causing nutritional deficiencies. So it's really, a, it's a big mess. Cancer can be related to lymphatic problems. Autoimmunity can be related to lymphatic problems. Reproductive issues can be related to lymphatic problems. And of course, acne is acne, cystic acne is literally a lymphatic problem. So you got to clean the lymph that starts with the digestive system and that's going to help you when you're on the road or when you're traveling or when you have your busy day and you can't eat because the best way to clean the lymph and the best way to take care of your eating issues is to stop eating, to eat less, intermittently fast, uh, go ketogenic, calorie restriction, only eat when you're absolutely positively hungry and notice when you're satisfied. And you will find, and this is one of the one of the key ideas when it comes to utilizing food uh, or understanding how to utilize food for health, is knowing when you're full and you are full and satisfied with only a couple of bites. You can eat three or four almonds and be full. You can eat a stalk of celery and be full. And by full, I mean satisfied. Not 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 necessarily where your your stomach is bloated and expanded, but where you're just satisfied. Find that place where you're satisfied and you'll be shocked at how little food you need, you need to eat. Now, it's really mandatory for everybody who's dealing with a health issue, but especially you, Natalie, that you do a food diary and write down every single thing you eat and how you respond to that food in terms of your skin and your digestive system. The neat thing about having skin problems, if there can be, you know, if there's something good about it, there is in that your skin will tell you when you ate the wrong food. When you break out, you ate the wrong food, period. It only takes a, a day or two for it to show up. So if you break out, go back to your food diary within a couple of days and see what you ate. And it may take you a week or two to figure out. You'll have to see, start seeing some patterns. Say, oh, my God, every time I have corn or every time I have eggs or every time I have oats or whatever it is, I break out. And then you can start to eliminate those foods. I'm sorry. Were you going to say something, Natalie? Okay. Yeah, um, I was going to say, what would be the best job? Uh, I guess book or video or uh, I wish there's you know, I, I wish I could give you fasting for fasting you know fasting is just as simple as not eating there really, there's a lot of books that tell you how to do it, but it's just not eating. You just stop eating and stop eating for two or three days. Do a swear OV cleanse uh, go get go on if you're not using longevity are you on the longevity products at all? Yeah, and you know what the difficult thing is I don't have a gallbladder. Oh, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> well, that is, that's an issue. Yes, that's at, that could be the root of all the problems. When did you lose your gallbladder? Oh, when gosh, they... when I was 22. It was, it was I'll, I'll bet awful. your health is, has your health declined since you had your gallbladder taken out. It oh, probably was. Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we're out of time, Natalie. you got to call earlier. I'm sorry. I, we've got so much good stuff to talk about here. If you want, you can send me an email, ben at ksco.com, and put your phone number in there, and I'll talk to you personally. But I'd love it if you'd call back because you're like a poster child for a lot of things. If, folks, don't let them take your gallbladder unless you are, are absolutely, absolutely in miserable, miserable pain. And then um, also, if you had your gallbladder taken out, that tells me you've had digestive problems for a long time. Natalie, got to go. That's we're out of time. But if you'll send me an email or call back, we can, uh, we can finish up. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all the truth treatment products. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.